studio, we're going to talk about centering clay on the pottery wheel. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is to get your clay into a medium-sized ball, pack as well as you can already wedged clay. <laughs> then you're going to smack your clay as close as you can to the center of the wheel. What this is going to do is help you to adhere the clay to the wall. It's helping you adhere the clay to the actual head of the wheel or the bag that you're using. So as I'm slapping this clay down, it's preventing the clay from flying around the wheel bowl as soon as I start sticking. Okay. So when you have it packed down, you can test to make sure it's not going to go flying. If you just kind of grab it from the base and wiggle it around, if it comes off, then you need to pack it down a little bit. But as soon as you can feel that resistance that the clay is stuck, then you're ready to be So the first thing that you need to know before you start trying to center your clay is that it's best when your back is straight, that you want your center of gravity to be firmly planted on your seat, and for your legs and your arms to all be very focused on your foot. So it helps to have your, um, your posture straight, and you want to be very aware of Spot, okay? um, so as soon as you begin, before you actually start spinning and practicing your real movement, you want to make sure that you have your left elbow and your right elbow planted firmly somewhere on your left, depending on how tall you are. Um, and you want to find that spot that's perfectly comfortable for you when you have your hands at the center of the wheel on the clay. Where is that on your leg that you can really take your elbows in to make sure that your center of gravity is not going to get upset as soon as this wheel starts moving, okay? So as soon as you find that spot on your leg um, or your hip, you want to get your hands wet and you want to get your clay wet. I have a bucket here with just water and a couple of clay tools and a sponge that you can use to continue to wet your hands in your wheel as you go. So as soon as I have my clay, my hands are wet, I want you to notice when I'm spinning the wheel, the clay is not in the center right now. And you can tell that because you can see where the clay is, is spinning around the wheel. So that tells me that this lump right here isn't in the center. And when I put my fingers on it, my fingers are moving an awful lot. So that tells me that my clay is not ready to be thrown. I need to center it. So as soon as you're ready to begin centering, when you have your heel, your elbows dug into your legs, you want to notice on your left hand, you're going to use your knuckle part, and the heel of your hand is going to be where you apply most of the pressure, where you're going to be driving the bottom of the clay into the center of the wheel. Now this is where it's really important to maintain your center of gravity, that if you're going like this, and your elbows are not planted, then you're going to be flying all over the place and your clay will never center. So I'm going to drive the clay into the center while I'm very aware of how my body is centered over this wheel. Okay? So you're going to start using this heel predominantly. And you'll see that now it's starting to be driven up. And I don't have all of those spots that are flopping out that you can tell that it's beginning to get used. So once you have used that part of your right hand and you're still keeping your elbows dug into your, into your leg, you want to make sure now you're ready to introduce your right hand. Your right hand is going to also be guiding the clay to come upward. You never want to feel like you're like choking the clay. So for that reason, it's really helpful to make sure that your hands are always interacting with one another when your hands are on the clay. This also helps to keep your balance and your center of gravity right on point. So I have my heel of my left hand and the knuckles and the heel of my right hand. And I'm going to start applying pressure in kind of an upward motion and I'm driving this clay into the shape of a cone. When you're centering and working on making your cone, you want the wheel to be going fairly fast. It seems counteractive of what you would think, but 
the faster your wheel is going, the more likely your hands are going to hit an access all the way around. Um, if you start going real slow, then you're not really going to be able to access all of that the way you want. Go ahead, Rose. Take this time. Okay? So now, I have my kind of my cone shape here. What do I do? It's pretty much in the center, but I'm not going to start throwing something that's in this cone shape. So now I'm going to draw, use both of my hands to drive the clay back down into a flat, circular kind of shape. Okay, so I'm again, I'm using this like kind of thick part of my thumb heel, and I'm using my right hand to guide the clay as it starts to get short and, and wide again. Notice where my elbows are all the time. Okay? I also want you to notice as I'm creating this flat circular shape, now my clay is in the center. What I recommend doing before you actually start throwing on the pottery wheel and start creating pottery, I recommend pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing several times. And what that does, so you'll do, you'll start with the hockey puck or your ball, bring up to the cone and squish back down again to the round shape. And what that does is also it's, it's getting out any of the hard pieces of your clay and it's also alleviating any leftover air pockets that you might have from your wedging of the clay. So you don't want to have any air pockets. You don't want any air pockets once you start throwing because that will really throw a wrench in your plans if you find an air pocket once you started to pull up a wall. So I'm going to continue pulling and pushing, noticing that my hands are always in contact with one another. And that's not only helping me with my balance to keep my clay in the center, but it's helping me to not let one hand dominate the operation. Also notice when I'm pulling up, notice where my thumb is right across the center of the piece. And the reason for that, if I didn't have my thumb there as I'm pulling up, you're going to start to get that kind of knob on the top. You don't want that. So you want to make sure that your thumb is pressing and grazing right across the top. not going to have that big bubble. I'm going to flatten it here and I'm going to make sure that I don't have any air pockets because I've been really proactive about centering and I'm getting ready. So now that I have this rounded clay right in the center, you notice I can tell it's in the center because when I put my fingers on it, I'm not going like this and so my fingers aren't all over the place. So now I know this is what it feels like to be able to do. Stay tuned and we'll talk about how to actually pull a set up here. Thanks for watching.